Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. In this video, I'm going to show you ways of restoring four different types of data. The first type of data is files that have accidentally been deleted. The second type is restoring files off of a formatted hard drive. The third type are files that are on corrupted CDs or DVDs that won't read. And the last type is from a hard drive that will not boot. Alright, so for the first one, um, we're going, I'm going to show you how you can restore files that have been emptied from the recycle bin. To do this, we're going to need a free program called Restoration, found at snapfiles.com slash git slash restoration.htm. But just download it and install it. And where it unzips to is in the C drive in a folder called Restoration. So just open up that folder and then open up the program. Then you can click the Search Deleted Files button and it will search whatever drive you choose for deleted files. And then if you find the, the file that you're looking for, you can just click the Restore button. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to restore files from damaged CDs. Again, for this, we'll need another free program um, that's called the CD Recovery Toolbox, found at the URL listed below. And just download this and install it. And you can select it to automatically run after you install it. It will automatically detect your CD drives, and so you can just put the damaged CD in and then select which files that you want to recover from it and then just click save and it will go through the process of copying those files to your hard drive and then it will open up the folder that it saved it in. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to recover files from a hard drive that's been formatted over and we'll need another piece of software for this called PhotoRec and just like the other uh, uh, software programs just download it and then with this one just extract it. It doesn't need to be installed. And then open up the folder that you extracted it to and start the program. Uh, it's an icon that's called PhotoRec. The first thing it's going to ask you is where the file, what hard drive the files are located on. So select the hard drive and then select the file system that's on the hard drive and then select where you want to start scanning the programs or scanning the files and then it's going to ask you where you want to restore the files to make sure that you uh, select a different hard drive than what the files are located on and then it's just going to start scanning and restoring all the files it doesn't let you choose which files it just restores all of them alright the last thing I'm going to show you is how you can restore files from hard drives that won't even boot to Windows now to do this we're going to need a program called PE Builder so just go to the website listed below and download the program and what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to create a Windows Live CD so go ahead and start the program and then it's going to ask you to, to put in your Windows XP CD so go ahead and do that and then uh, tell it where it's located which obviously should be the CD-ROM drive and and then what you're going to do is just create a name for your project and also make sure that you have ch create ISO image selected and uh, and then just click build and it's going to go through the process of building a Windows XP boot CD that you can use to recover files. So just go to your C drive to the PE Builder folder and find where the ISO image is and then you can use a program such as Deep Burner to burn it to a CD. And then you can just stick this in your CD-ROM drive and boot to it. And this is kind of what it will look like and this is a screenshot of the file navigation system. Uh, and you can use also a Linux boot CD called Ubuntu which is very popular as well and you can use it to accomplish the same things. This is basically to get you an operating system so that you can restore um, your files without having to boot to the hard drive. Well that's it for this tutorial. For more go to tinkernut.com.